Manhattan is the eighth film written and directed by Woody Allen, and one of his most acclaimed and loved films. This tribute to his hometown was a huge success, but how well do you know it? Well, here's ten things about Manhattan. The original inspiration for Manhattan was the music of George Gershwin. Not only does it open the classic opening sequence, his music is used throughout the film. Those recordings were issued on the first ever soundtrack for a Woody Allen film. That famous opening sequence has been parodied many times. You can find many fan parodies on YouTube, but amongst our favourites are from the TV series Cosmos and the UK cult comedy Space. The film was shot in gorgeous black and white by cinematographer Gordon Willis. Willis joined Allen's team with Annie Hall having worked on films such as The Godfather and All the President's Men. Willis would work with Alan a total of eight times. This was also Alan's first film to be shot in widescreen. It's actually in the contracts that TV stations are not allowed to crop the image in any way and it has to be watched in all its edge-to-edge -edge glory. In the role of Tracy was Mariel Hemingway. It is her first of two times where she would appear in an Allen film. Her grandfather is the author Ernest Hemingway, who Allen would later write as a character in Midnight in Paris. You, know, you would have ended all, all argument between them. I mean, he would have pointed to you and said, you know, I do a lot of terrible things, but I can also make one of these, you know, and, and then Joe would have said, you know. Also in the cast is Meryl Streep in one of her first ever film roles. She would actually win an Academy Award against her Manhattan co-star Mariel Hemingway for her work in Kramer vs. Kramer. Also appearing in an Allen film for the first time is Wallace Shawn. Sean would appear in at least one Woody Allen film every decade up to the 2010s and there's still a few years left to go for him to complete that trick. Yeah, well, semantics. Well, you're just looking so great. I just, uh... It's you, you're so thin. You lost a lot of weight, didn't well, you? Well, uh, I have an exercise machine. Well... That very famous bench scene was shot overlooking the Queensborough or 59th Street Bridge. The production actually brought their own bench and it was shot early in the morning with special permission to keep the bridge lights on. Amongst the many great Manhattan locations used in this film are three of Alan's favourite New York eateries. The restaurant Elaine's, John's Pizzeria and the Russian Tea Room. You could have picked up these two if you were a little quicker. Serious. I think the brunette liked you. And finally, this was the first Allen film to play at the Cannes Film Festival. Only Mariel Hemingway attended. Allen would go on to premiere 11 more films at that prestigious festival. And that's 10 things about Manhattan. Find much more about this film in our book, The Woody Allen Pages Watcher's Guide, Volume 2. And head to WoodyAllenPages.com for more on Woody Allen and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos.
This is devastating. Satirical piece on that on the op-ed page of the Times. It is devastating. Well, a satirical piece in the Times is one thing, but bricks and baseball bats really gets right to the point. Oh, I think. The...